Hi, this is Diane Epstein, and um, I thought today, for some reason today, just feels like the right time to share with you a little bit about what's going on in my artist studio here in uh, Point Richmond, California, uh, where I've been sequestered for practically the last couple of years, not exclusively, but I've been here a lot working and allowing sort of other forms of art to sort of come through. I've been uh, sort of known for my fresco photography, but I've been doing a lot of painting and collage and fresco photography and uh, sort of mixed media. And now I just wanted to share with you a little bit about um, what I've been up to and um, this new series, which I am now calling The Power of the Feminine. And um, it feels like some, somehow sort of a light went off in terms of what all of this has in common and what it is and why it is that I'm sort of doing this. And um, it has to do with, you know, us coming together, not only in contemplation about and being connected to our, you know, our spirit and to nature, but also to feel confident within ourselves, to just expose our vulnerability and allow ourselves to um, get in touch with the inner child and also, you know, our children in general in terms of listening to them and listening to what it is that that, that is being said so that no wounding or extra wounding in addition to what the world has to give us is going to happen, but that we can actually be the feminine uh, nurturers that we are and we can be more in touch with and bring the beauty and the spirit of nature into our lives for healing and also to heal our planet, which really needs that that sense of um, having the big picture in mind and not just sort of focusing on uh, what's in front of us, but really allowing ourselves to be more in tune. So um, I've noticed also sort of a theme in terms of windows and um, and I find that, you know, right now a lot of people are either looking out or looking within and starting to really contemplate what it is that they want with their lives or what it is that's happening or what's what's right and they're also wanting to choose better rather than just choosing what is in front of them and assuming that that is their only choice um, the other aspect of this is the whole thing about coming together as women and also just the feminine within us, whether you're a male or a female, and um, getting in touch with our vulnerability and our, um, our bodies and ourselves and owning that and not letting whatever is happening in the world stop us from taking care of, communicating, um, to stop hiding and start coming out and as together as one so that we can really make a difference with presence and with love that we can inspire the imagination and um, be authentic this is so important um, I also find that nature is just really so important in terms of um, both as a healing quality for us to be able to get out in nature and feel that nature is is our friend and we want to take care of her and that um, Mother Earth is calling out for us right now. She needs us. We need to care for her and listen to her and also listen to ourselves and what is right and, and not to allow things to happen because we've given away our power but to come together so that you know, we are stronger as one. So this uh, garden right outside my artist studio, which I'm so thankful for, and um, this new body of work, um, I would like to dedicate to the power of the feminine.